Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central. Make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications. All right, uh, with the Olympia weekend being just over two weeks away, uh, it's time to make some predictions. I'm going to do the open uh, top six placings. Now, this possibility I might have a change of heart on some of these before the Olympia. It all depends on what we see in updates. But as of now, here's how it stands. Uh, we'll start right off at the top, first place. It might sound contradictory to what I've been saying recently in videos. But I think Big Rami will most likely leave with his third sand out. Uh, I've been critical about him. Uh, the way I'm seeing it, I think that as long as Rami comes in in better condition than he came in last year, brings in a better package than last year, whether that package actually is the best package on stage. I don't think it's going to be the deciding thing. I think that as long as he brings in better conditioning, they will give him his third sand out. And if you go by what we've been seeing, I have to assume that we will see, at the least, a better package from Rami this year on stage than we saw last year. Okay, uh, tough one. Uh, second, third, and fourth uh, actually could be a little bit of a give and take. The way, I, the way I'm seeing this. Uh, I have Nick Walker, William Bonac, and Hadi Chupan really the ones going at it for second, third, and fourth. Uh, ultimately, all right, if I, want to, if, if I went on sentiment alone, I would have to go William Bonac, uh, but I'm not going on sentiment. I think Nick Walker, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of, he has a lot of hype, hype behind him, and it's deserving. He had an amazing rookie year, won the second and the third biggest shows in bodybuilding, and he he really dominated those those shows. Fifth place in his first Olympia, and most people thought he was at at the least uh, fourth place. Call him a mutant. He's a freak. Uh, as much muscle as he carries on his frame, he looks to be coming in even bigger and. He doesn't have the greatest structure, but shoulders, the legs, and he really has very control of his waist. It takes waste from some of his blockiness. I think the youth on his side, uh, I think Nick Walker we're going to see in second place. Uh that brings me to third or fourth, and I mentioned William Bonac, Hadi Chupan. Hadi Chupan's been third, I, I believe it was three consecutive years. One thing you know about Hadi, he always brings the conditioning. Uh, it looks as though he's actually going to bring in a bigger package, about 10 pounds bigger this year. And with the same conditioning, as dangerous as as he was, previously even more dangerous, 
But, I mean, it's, uh, it's still a stacked, stacked lineup. Uh, but, William Bonac, he, up until last year, William Bonac was a serious threat in every single, any show he would step on stage on, and that includes the Olympia. Last year, we saw some issues going on with him. We thought uh, maybe uh, he's on a decline. He had an issue with his gyno also that was taken care of, but there's something going on with his legs. Not sure. <clears throat> it's never really elaborated what it was, but it looks like uh, it's been a reversal. And he's back. And also appears to be coming in with more size. William Bonac uh, has always brought conditioning. Uh, inch for inch, he packs as much muscle, if not more, than anybody else uh, on that stage. William Bonac is dangerous, very dangerous. We're going to see him third, and I have Hadi Chupan fourth place. Fifth and sixth. Uh, a day ago, I had it the other way, but seeing the most recent update pick, um, uh, I'm thinking a little differently. We have Brandon Curry and Samson Dowder. And uh, Brandon Curry, probably the best structure uh, of anybody on that stage. And that's one of the things that carries him through. But we got Samson Dowder, who also has very good structure, very good shape, very good structure. Samson Dowder is a much bigger man, carries a lot more muscle. Samson Dowder will be the second biggest man on stage come Olympia next to uh, Rami. If Samson Dowder maintains that size, and the Samson Dowder we're looking at now is not the Samson Dowder we saw in the early part of the year. It was an amazing metamorphosis. If he comes in full like he's looking and he hits the conditioning, and I think he will come in with good conditioning. He's working with Milo Sachev, and he's very much on top of that. Uh, Samson's dangerous, and he, he can battle with, Brandon on one, one of his strong points, which is shape and structure. Brandon, though, on the other hand, has always made improvements year to year. Uh, his biggest shortcoming has been his legs, but he actually brought up his legs a bit last year. It looks like he brought them up even more. Uh, one of his other issues is fullness and conditioning. Either he comes in nice and full and he sacrifices a little conditioning, not saying he comes in a bad conditioning, but he sacrifices a little conditioning. Could be a little sharper. He sacrifices that for the fullness or he comes in a little sharper and a little on the flat side. And either way, shape and structure uh, carries him through. If his legs are up and he can uh, bring in both the fullness and the conditioning, and for what we're seeing now, it looks like Brandon is going to be on stage about 10 pounds, with about 10 pounds more muscle than he was last year. Uh, that translates well on stage, and he comes in both full and conditioned, and his legs, which appear to be up a little more, 
I see Brandon fifth place and Samson out of sixth place. Uh, just to throw in, uh, before I conclude the video, I think uh, Hunter Labrada and Derek Lunsford will be battling for seventh and eighth. And I think I really can go in either, either direction. I think uh, for the most part, conditioning is going to be a, a bigger factor here in this year's Olympia, more so than it has in a long time. Like I, like I said, this is maybe the most competitive lineup we've ever seen. And uh, it's going to be a great one. Okay, let me just end it over there. Those are my top six. Let's run through that just one more time quickly. First place, Big Rami. Second place, Nick Walker. Third place, William Bonac. Fourth place, Hadi Chupan. Fifth place, Brandon Curry. Sixth place, Samson Dowder. And I have battling for seventh and eighth, Hunter Labrada and Derek Lunsford. I'm sure there's going to be some disagreements, to say the least on my picks over here. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. i like to see your own picks in the comment section. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified also. Go to the description box, there are links there. One link is on the Facebook Muscle Central page. Any questions, you can go there, DM me. I'd be happy to answer them. Also, there are links to Species Nutrition and Mr. G's Protein Snacks. Click on both those links, go to both those websites, and check out all their great product, products. Once again, this is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.